Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to do the distributive property of multiplication. So, uh, with the one digit times two digit. So our first problem is five times 86. So, let me just, give me a minute, let me erase that. We do not need a better form. We're going to use the distributed, so it's going to be a little different. 5 times 86 equals to 5 times 80 plus 6. We did 80 plus 6 because... A shorter form for this, if you break it into the tens and ones, they're going to be eight tens, which also equals to 80, and they're going to be six ones, which equals to six. That's why we did five times 80 plus six. Now we're going to do that same thing again. Five times 86 equals two. We're going to do five times 80. Eight zero plus 5 times 6. And so, then after that, there are only f always, there are always four steps in this. Now, then we can write 5 times 86 equals 2. Then we're going to write, after we do 5, so always remember, sometimes it's going to be very hard to do 85 times 80. So you can just delete this 0 and just do 5 times 8, which is 40. And then you add that 0 again, 40. If you add to 40, one more 0 at the end, it will be 400. So 5 times 80 equals to 400 plus 5 times 6, which is 30. So, 5 times 86 equals to 430. Let's write 430 here. And let's check that with the calculator. Five times 86. 430. See, if we're right. We are right. This is the correct answer. Distributive property, if you do it correct, it always becomes right. We're going to do six problems, and this is, we've done with our first one. Number two. Four. Four times 73. We can do the same thing again. Four, so we can do four times 70 plus 3. And then we're going to do 4 times 73 equals to 4 times 70 plus 4 times 3. So then 4 times 73 equals to now you can do the same technique I told you in the first one. Seven, seven, four times seven is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, two eighty. So four, four times seventy is two eighty. And then plus four times three, which is twelve. And so four times seventy-three equals two. Two hundred ninety-two. I hope it's right. Let's see. 4 times 73. 4 times 73. 292. 292 is correct. Let's keep going.
Okay, so I believe I I believe we just finished four times seventy three. Okay. So recording I can do it. Seven now next problem is seven times ninety five equals to now that we have to do from the very beginning, which equals to seven times ninety plus five. Now you can do seven times ninety five equals to now individually seven times ninety plus seven seven times five. Then we're going to do 7 times 95 equals to 7 times 9 times 7, 63. And so we can do it 630 because we did not add the 0 and then we add the 0 at the end. And then we're going to do plus 7 times 5, which is 35. And so 7 times 95 equals to. 630 plus 35. So what is 630 plus 35? It is 665. 665. Let's see if you're correct. 665. Let's check it out. 7 times 95. 7 times 95. 665. I, I believe you're correct. You're correct. 665. Perfect. Now we're done with our third one. Now we're going to do our fourth one. 3 times 87. 3 times 87 equals to. Which equals to 3 times 80. 80 plus 7. I believe, yep, that's correct. Then we do 3 times 87 equals to, individually, 3 times 80, then uh, plus 3 times 7. Okay. Then we do 3 times 87 equals to, you multiply that, 8 times 3 is 24, I believe. Yeah, 8 times 3 is 24. It's going to be 240 because we add the 0 right now. Plus 7 times 3, which is 21. And so we're going to do 3 times 87 equals to 240 plus 21. It's 261. 261. Let's see if you're correct. 261. Uh, let's just check in the calculator. 3 times 87. 3 times... 80, sorry, 87, 261, I believe you're correct, 261, you're right, there we go, fourth problem is done, we have two more to go guys, number five, six times 47, 6 times 47 equals to 6 times 40 plus 7. Then you do 6 times 47 again, but then you do it individually. 6 times 40 plus 6 times 7. And then you do 6 times 47 equals to 6 times 4 24 to 40 because remember we had the 0 plus then you do 6 6 times 7 which is 42 and then if you add 6 times 47 if you add 240 plus 42 it will be 282 282 okay let's check that I believe it was 6 times 47. 282. Perfect. 
282 is correct. Okay. Number six, the last problem. Nine times 67. Nine times 67 equals to nine times in 60 plus seven. And now you do it individually. Nine times 67 equals to parentheses nine times 60 plus nine times seven. And then you do nine times 67 equals to nine times six and nine times seven. <laughs> Nine times six is fifty four, and then nine times seven is sixty three, I believe. Let me just check. Yep, sixty three. And so nine times sixty seven equals to one hundred one hundred ten. 117, 117, I believe. Let's see, 9 times 67. Oh, I'm so dumb. We forgot, to, you know, to make it a zero here. Because we did something different. Okay. Here, I forgot to put the zero, which was supposed to be here. I forgot to put it. I did this nine times six and made it 54, but that can't happen usually. So nine times 60, I deleted the zero. I did 54, and then I add the zero again. So, 540 plus 63, that's going to be our answer. Let's do that in our brain. 540. Okay. So the answer would be uh, 603, like they said. So I would write 603 here, 603. And so the answer is 603. Okay guys, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, look more videos on our website, www.exploringjourney.com. In all of some of my videos, it will be in the description below. It might even be in this one. See ya. Bye.